Hey everyone, welcome back to Automation. Uh, I was surprised to see how positive the response was on that last video, so welcome to all the new people who are here. Um, but I just wanted to say today, we're doing the exact opposite of what I did last time. Instead of doing the largest engine possible, we are going to do the smallest engine possible, and we're going to be using the Bugo. But instead of just doing the smallest engine possible, because that's boring, we are going to supercharge it and possibly turbocharge it and try to get the most power out of it that we can while keeping it fitting for this car. It's going to be a very crappy vehicle with a shining engine inside of it, but let me show you the goods. I think the smallest engine configuration is here in line 3. Uh, it is currently 150 cc's, which is hilariously less than my lawnmower. So it just really intrigued me to have this car powered by something that is smaller than my lawnmower, and then also attempting to twin charge it. I'm contractually obligated to turbocharge or supercharge everything that I make, so we're going to continue with that trend today. <laughs> this car is beautiful. Let's make it better. So in a bit of a twist, I am going to try to make this engine ridiculously strong despite being 150 cc's. In fact, we can actually probably get less than 150 cc's if we downbore it to 76 cc's. That's not a lot. That is very, very small chainsaw engine, basically except with three cylinders instead of your usual. 76 cc's is 0.076 liters. Very, very little. Uh, but it does also get us a lot of fun. Now, if we turn up this stuff here, we're gonna need higher revving, I think, but we'll just start up top. Forge components, balance shafts, the highest quality we can get. I've gone ahead and made the tech pool balanced as it perfectly should be. 15 in engine, negative 15 in car. See, I'm not sure what the smallest engine was previously, but I and I don't think it was this small. Like, this is just ridiculously small. Um, I do think that this is probably not going to work in BMNG, so we'll try it, but I'm not confident. Let's give it VVT. Let's give it high-quality stuff. Here's where the fun things come in. Can we twin-charge this engine? Yes, we can. Turbocharged, supercharged. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Everything looks good here. In order to actually see that, we're going to have to go for direct injection and basically just give ourselves full quality here as well. There's the turbo. And in fuel, we don't have a lot of options. Let's just run E85, something a little bit more realistic than methane or nitro, <laughs> nitromethane or methanol. There we go. Now we can see the full setup. Huge supercharger and the turbo is... MIA. <laughs> okay, let's put on some exhaust. Oh yeah, there we go. That is an intake and a half. I like to see it. So it actually makes 3.4 horsepower, which is significantly less than I thought it would with the compressor being ridiculously restrictive. That is something that we can fix. Um, but just out of curiosity, wow. Um, going over to the supercharger size, the supercharger is 200 cc's, that's the smallest it'll go, which means that the supercharger is more than twice the size of the engine. Don't think about that too much. 5.3 horsepower when we up the quality, that's just because the uh, turbo compressor is extremely restrictive and increasing the size of it is helping us. I don't really know, I don't think the AI tune is going to be able to do much, but let's hit it and just give it a shot. Yeah, it's just errors all over the place. This game has not been updated since the 23rd of December. I'm currently playing it on New Year's Day, by the way. Happy New Year. Unfortunately, that stuff has not been fixed yet. I am anxiously awaiting more fixes. Looking over here, we have a ridiculous reliability threshold for RPM. 38,000 RPM we could potentially get up to, so let's just crank this up until it can't be cranked any further. Uh, or reasonably further. You know what? 9.8 horsepower at 11,800 RPM. Very odd curve, very low torque as well. It's like starts high, drops low. This thing is weird, but let's give it more compressor. I'm, <laughs> I'm scared, but I'm curious. More compressor means more power, and hopefully we can get like 50 or 60 horsepower. That's kind of the goal. So it does seem like the compressor on the turbo is actually damaging us instead of giving us anything good here. So I'm just going to switch to straight supercharged. Not as fun, but hopefully better. The exhaust size is insane, by the way, at 2 inches. That is way too much. Let's do 1 inch exhaust. 
and still very restrictive supercharger now. I have a suspicion that uh, I'm not going to be able to get this to work right just because the supercharger is so huge that um, it's not going to make any... Wow, that intercooler is huge. It's not going to make any sense for this no matter what we do. That is a little bit better with the centri centrifugal supercharger. Um, I believe in one of my previous videos I was saying centrifugal. It's all circles, man. There we go, 6.7 horsepower. This is a tiny, tiny engine. That is not actually that bad power, all things considered. Um, but this also gives us a smaller compressor size, which I think is probably what's helping with this build. The intercooler is huge compared to the, well, actually the supercharger is basically in the intercooler. This engine contextually is exceptionally small. I kind of want to run it without an intercooler, just straight, no intercooler should probably be more efficient for a setup like this, because what's the point of having an intercooler? It's got six horsepower. Um, so we'll see what that does. It is currently making it have a mild restriction, but yeah, I think we're fine. See, somewhere along the line, I thought that maybe by having a 76 cc engine that somehow we'd be able to get like 40 50 horsepower but obviously i was in the complete wrong realm here 7.8 is all i'm managing at 11,900 rpm and that is with tubular naughty headers no intercooler and massive massive exhaust that's what one inch exhaust looks like compared to this thing just insanity okay if we run nitromethane nm90 which is the best fuel in the game, I believe. We get 18.8 horsepower at 12,000 RPM, the highest RPM that we can get to. There is a lot of stuff going on in this car, by the way. Um, <laughs> we'll fix that stuff in a bit. Now, if we... I'm basically just tweaking it very slightly over and over, trying to get it to run better, um, which is a lot more difficult than you might anticipate. This being supercharged honestly doesn't really do much. I, I don't think it actually helps at all. Say we increase the compressor size on the supercharger, it is better to go at 2 horsepower. Let's just do max size. 21 horsepower. Different gear ratio, perhaps more power? No, less power. Huge, huge restriction. Or potentially this means it's too big and it's not doing anything. I have a suspicion that that's what this says. So I just cranked it up to 25 psi of boost and that's not doing much and actually less boost is more power here we do need a little bit we need like 8.7 i think somewhere around there seems to be the maximum power that i can get out of this supercharger setup so not bad i mean it's not intercooled i guess we could try to put a little intercooler cooler on it just like a tiny one oh 25 horsepower nice okay tiny intercooler it is basically what's happening when i do these max power builds is i'm just sitting here tuning for like an hour trying to figure out what is the best power to make with this engine and with this setup and supercharged we're making 30 horsepower at 12,000 rpm and 17.8 newton meters of torque with a little bit of a reliability reduction here and the compressor being as possibly it looks like unrestricted compressor flow so it's too big we can't make it any smaller the reality of it is i think this might be darn close to the max i think that might even be it i'm running um this setup here and i'm also using dual overhead cams that might not be the best we don't really need all that rpm we could probably use a little more torque down low but um yeah it should be fine i think that this is going to be a fun engine in this car 30 horses is nothing to laugh at when your car looks like this might i remind you this is the bugo super rust as it's now supercharged and very very rusty but with that i think we have created the best 76 cc engine that i can this is probably gonna run decently in this car if we can get it to run in bmng i think every export from this version of automation is broken in bmng so it's gonna melt pistons and f use fuel like crazy and whatever but that's all we can do anyways let's get the engine sound here i'm curious time for a pull Okay, it sounds the same whether it's throttled up or down. There's really nothing to see there. That is ridiculously uninteresting <laughs> and unfortunate as well. 
Oh well, let's give it a run. But first, naturally, I need to make this car better in order to fit this new engine. It has uh, a CVT in it, which is awkward. I'm going to give it a manual transmission just because I don't want to deal with CVTs. <laughs> Manual transmission, six speeds is way too much, let's do three. Zero to 100 in 999 seconds. Nice. Just as a summary, this car does weigh 815 kilos. That is pretty heavy for a car like this. That is actually quite heavy. Maybe we can cut some of that weight out because it doesn't seem to be going anywhere with this gear setup. Zero to 100 in 999 seconds means it doesn't do 100. So the current anticipated top speed is 60 kilometers an hour, and uh, yeah, I want to try to do better than that, because that is ridiculously low. 83 there. 85. Yikes. Going onto the wheels, we're running cross plies, um, the smallest size you can get, because it has barely any power. We don't need more than that. Gearbox reliability is low, that's just because it's negative 15 quality, which is nice. I'm sure this thing would run a lot better with high, a better gearbox setup, but that's just not the Bugo way. Running the smallest brakes possible as you do, literally nothing here at all. Cooling airflow is good, it has what it needs. Bench seat in the front. I'm going to optimize the weight to try and get it to be lighter even though that costs money, I realize, but there we go, we lost 100 kilos. Maybe it'll actually drive now. Absolutely no safety, nothing at all of goodness here. The worst of the worst, including the suspension, which is terrible as well. Okay, our lawnmower seems to be ready to go. I think everything is good here. The color, beautiful. Everything else, beautiful. I think that this thing is going to run darn well. Um, the brakes and stuff on it are trash. Pretty much everything is garbage. I'm gonna try maybe potentially I'm we're using cross ply tires. I'm just gonna switch to radials <laughs> before before I die sometime on the road on this thing. Hard long life is all we need and hopefully that'll fix some of these various problems. <laughs> Good lord, we're in for something here. So I just want to warn you ahead of time with this car that um, the noise that it makes is interesting and uh, it, has, it has no mufflers. So this is my fault. I, I've done this to myself and also to you, uh, but I think it works. I haven't done much with it. I just revved it once and then I had to shut it off before my ears started bleeding. But. I want you to listen to our creation, the supercharged uh, engine that is actually not even in the car for some reason, now that I'm looking at it. Awkward. Anyway, here's a listen. God help us all. Anyway, let's see how this thing drives. Um, wow, that is astonishing. I just put the clutch assist back on because I'm using a controller, but I don't think that's going to help much with the issues that we're having with this car. I've only done 300 meters and I already feel like I'm ready to give up. It sounds like a kettle that's boiling. Yikes, man. I don't know if I can take much more of this thing, but it does actually function, and it doesn't have any severe issues like the largest engine. Thank goodness. Um, I'm happy to say that it at least works, which is good. But we can't do the speed limit. <laughs> 98? Oh, it's actually faster in BMNG than it is in automation. 103? It's a good thing I give it a little bit of extra. And, uh, yeah, let's kill it. <laughs> you know, I didn't think that this was going to work at all, so I'm impressed with the fact that it at least works somewhat. Um, 30 horsepower is actually a fairly decent amount for one of these cars. That's not even that bad, realistically speaking. But for a tiny car, it doesn't weigh much. 30 horsepower, it can do 100. Like, that's good for the city, so no complaints there. The smallest engine ever 
created in BMNG, 76 cc's, basically a chainsaw, which is probably why it squeaks and squeals so bad, except supercharged, can definitely move a small Yugo slash Bugo like this. Oh, it's screaming, the water's boiling. 50 horsepower, I, I'm just kidding, 30 horsepower, 50 kilometers an hour, and it sounds like you're basically flying at 400. That could be the wind noise coming in through the door gaps. You know, the underlying sound isn't bad. It's the supercharger that is the problem. It's the thing making the big whine, and uh, I wonder what we can do about that. In the vehicle config section, there is sometimes some extra stuff, like going over to the engine stuff here. We can actually change the engine for an electric motor, which would probably fix a lot of the stuff. We can actually get rid of the supercharger and just take it right off, which means that it probably makes three horsepower now, and I'm scared to see what's going to happen. Okay, no supercharger, keep that in mind. Oh, it actually... I mean, it runs decent. It hasn't got as much power. It's definitely not as quick, but no supercharger means no supercharger wine, which means it's actually, like, audibly handleable. And this tiny three-cylinder rips pretty good, even without forced induction, so... I'm pleased with that. I, <laughs> I think I might have to not make tiny, tiny superchargers anymore. Hopefully they can fix the engine sounds in BMNG, because that was unbearable. I do wonder, I mean, I don't know how BMNG is going to do that kind of calculation, or if it even matters realistically, but uh, we still can do like 100-ish. I mean, I'm doing 70-something, that's close. It's not bad considering it was tuned completely for supercharging. The engine itself is quite strong. Um, it's just... I mean, it runs nitromethane. The thing is juiced to heck. Either way, I think what we've accomplished today has been successful. This thing works, kind of. I mean, mostly. I'm ruining the gears every time I shift because I'm shifting too fast. There you go, you gotta hold down the button a little bit. But, did I do what I set out to do? Yes. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> you be the judge. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed more deep dives into random automation stuff now that we have the options. I'm very curious what you guys want to see next. This was from a commented suggestion, by the way, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely down to do what you guys want if it's something that interests me as well. But you guys have good ideas too, it's not just me. But with that, I want to say thank you for watching this video, hopefully you've enjoyed it, and be sure to check out the rest of my channel for more stuff. Subscribe if you're new, if you want to see more things like this. I've got a lot of videos in my brain that are ready to come out onto the paper here. This year, my goal is to get this channel back into the ring a little bit. We've been doing okay so far, but I haven't been able to put out as many videos as I want to. I've been busy, no doubt, and I'm going to be busy again this year. Come June, we got a second key coming in, so it's going to be even busier than it is with one already. But that also means uh, I've got six months to basically bring this channel back from the dead and get things going again. So that's what I'm going to aim to do every week. Hopefully you'll see me here. Most weeks, some weeks I'm just not going to be able to. But most weeks you'll see me here again. More videos to come. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, see you again soon. Very soon. Somebody find me a Yugo in Canada, please. I need one of these cars in my driveway. I cannot find one. I've been searching for years. You go, please. You go to me. Well, that's deep.